If you were thinking that modeling spaces in Revit like Harbin Creative Design Center is are hard to be modeled or impossible at some point, I have to say that you are very wrong. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, if you just watch this tutorial and follow its steps from beginning till the end, you will see the simplest and the quickest possible way of how you can model it in Revit. But just before I move to the Revit, I would like to invite you to join our free community of over 5,000 architects and interior designers, where you can also enjoy our free Revit training. As a part of the modeling process, I need to do some of investigation here. So for, for the modeling purpose, I will assume that this width here is one and a half meters. Then I'm gonna assume that the length is let's say two meters while the thickness of the wall so this thickness here is 100 millimeters but you also see some gap between between our walls and i'm gonna assume that uh, and actually i'm gonna model that gap of 10 millimeters so the gap is going to be 10 millimeters the width of the wall 100 and then 2 by 1.5 uh, meters is going to be uh, one one piece so let's go to Revit, and for this I will be using Model in Place tool. So just go to Architecture, Component, and then Model in Place. Category is not that important, but in this case I can just take this uh, wall category. And I will use Extrusion tool. So let's start, let's make this 2 meters. Then this one is going to be 1.5. And, and I will make this 500 this flat side side uh, 500 as you can see we we have this flat side so that's what i'm making and then i'm gonna take circle one meter take split element and then take trim so trim it we need to get nice geometry i will delete this middle line and let's take let's take peak lines or just before I do pick lines, I will take uh, I will take advantage of those reference planes, actually of its intersection. So I'm gonna move it like this, and then we said that our our offset, actually our gap is going to be 10 millimeters. Uh, you see that this part is aligned with this reference plane and, and this reference a vertical reference plane is doing the tangent here. So let's move it for the half of that gap, 5 millimeters, and then 5 millimeters to the top. MV is a shortcut for move, otherwise it's this tool. Then I will take our peak lines offset for 100 millimeters to inside. Trim to corner again, the R is a shortcut, and let's make its height, let's say, 7.5 meters. Let's click OK, create 3D view, so this is how one piece look like. But that's not it, I'm not done. So what I'm gonna do, I will go back to our plan view, I will select this before I click finish, and again I will go here to the edit extrusion, and then I'm gonna copy this one for uh one five one zero so one and a half meters plus 10 millimeters the width of the gap and let's create let's say four rows or even better five of them so you see that we have gap then i will select it and i'm gonna take mirror pick axis and m is a shortcut pick this reference plane so you see it's 10 millimeters and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna select all of them and copy for 2 meters and 10 millimeters and let's make 5 rows there as well and when it's done I will select everything again I'm gonna go to the mirror pick axis then pick this horizontal reference plane Let's go to 3D so you see how it looks like here. Finish edit mode. And we got this first part. So now you may wonder how we can create this 
this space inside and to be able to make it we need to select our model in place and then we need to enter it one more time so i need to select here go edit in place actually uh, but just before I do that, I will go to the plan view and I'm going to show you the importance of those reference planes and why I place them here. Uh, I also need to open our, our south elevation view. Uh, so in plan view, when I select this one, you see it's center north south, while this one is center east west. Uh, let's go to south elevation, so it doesn't matter where we are going to select this one. And then enter uh, enter model in place with clicking on edit in place. So now I will go to create void forms and I'm gonna create void extrusion. And for reference plane, I'm gonna pick north south. So here I'm gonna start from this intersection again and I'm gonna make it let's say let's make it six and a half meters. Take peak lines. Or I can just make it as a cylinder, it doesn't matter. Let's go to plan view. So we have it here, I will just simply drag its ends. Let's go to 3D. So here comes the cut. And it was that simple really. So you see that the process is very, very simple. So you just need to think a little bit about it and how you can make it. And if you would like to learn how to create more spaces like this in Revit and those forms as well as how to create this floor and how to create those roofs very quickly just become a member of our Architeasy Plus group that's our Patreon on steroids and on that way you are not only supporting us to create more content like this and uh, being able to download project files of our YouTube tutorials you are also going to get a premium community as well as to way more project files and tutorials like our mini course for Japan the bedroom is which is uh, over five and a half hours long thank you very much for watching and if you would like to level up your modeling skills in Revit just watch this tutorial